Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to have you here with me today. I have done something that I don't normally do. Jesse from Peach Manifesto contacted me and asked if we should do a collaboration for St. Patrick's Day. And of course I accepted immediately because she has some of the most original ideas. I really always love her artwork. If you're not following her yet on Instagram or YouTube, you really need to go do so because she has some really awesome ideas and she's also on TikTok. And she's really mastered that, let me tell you. Okay, so we've both done our designs, our designs. Hers was more classic than mine was, which I expected to go the classic route too, but for whatever reason, it just didn't happen. I saved a whole bunch of pictures in a folder on Instagram. And then at the end of it, I ended up on Google. And that's kind of between Google and Instagram. I didn't really pick any one or even five pictures to be inspired by. It was kind of a conglomeration of a whole bunch of things. So I really hope you enjoy this video. I haven't specifically named which brands or colors I'm using. Um, obviously you're going to use the brands that you have on hand, but the reason why I didn't list them, uh, number one, I didn't pay a whole lot of attention. This was really off the cuff for me. And number two, I use like five different brands. And I know that not all of you guys are going to be using those brands as well. So use what you have. If you do have any questions about colors, by all means, down below, and I will be more than happy to try to remember what I used. So let's get going. I've done this at twice the speed so that it wasn't a super duper long video, but I do have the nail polished in the desired color and I'm using Google to just kind of trace on in pencil on a matte top coat, always a matte top coat, you guys. If you guys wanna start hand drying, always, always, always a matte top coat, that is your one secret weapon. So I'm using the Get Buffed brushes and I'm outlining in just a thin, thin, thin black line. These lines end up not even staying black, but they are my outlines for when I go to color in so that I kind of know within reason where I'm headed with my colors. They're also not really like amazing lines. I probably could make them cleaner, might make my life easier. But at this point, a lot of times I'm in such a hurry to get to the color that I'm not even really, I'm just in, I'm in, I'm in a hurry. I get excited about getting the color on there. So that's what I've done. So I'm just using that brush and I'm actually using a fair amount of polish just so that you're not getting any shading, but at the same time, trying to keep it nice and level. So getting it on there, letting it breathe, letting it rest, and then pushing it, pushing any heavy places out. Um, if that makes any sense at all. If you've played around a lot with gel polish, you probably understand what I mean. I didn't really flash cure in between here because I don't want layers of this green. I want it all to flow. So I'm working it in closer and closer to the outlined areas and then fully curing. Um, I've also gone ahead and done a matte top coat over that green because again, matte is your secret enemy when it comes to character drawing like this. You always want matte. Some may disagree, but this personally is what I love, love, love to do. So I'm just making, I decided to make the mouth white as well because he, she, I wanted to say she, I feel like he's a he. He is going to have a little pink mouth and I knew that that wouldn't translate through properly um, with the green. So I'm coming in with a darker green rather than the black here. I just kind of decided that I didn't want it to be quite so stark, um, quite so much contrast. I apologize if we're a little out of focus. When I, I'm working, I find it really hard sometimes to film because I like to be right in front of my face and I'm leaned back in my chair and I'm leaned forward in my chair and I'm all over the place. Sometimes I even walk around. So this little micro swab that I'm using here, really super important that you get yourself some of those if you're going to be doing any kind of hand drawing. Those dipped in a such a little bit of acetone, like hardly any, and then dabbed off on a lint-free wipe is your savior when it comes to blending and wiping things. Um, something like blending a cheek, if you're blending the pink for a cheek, 
uh, things like that are, are so, those micro swabs will just save your day. A little shamrock on his belly. I really wanted to do these clouds. I've been wanting to do these clouds. I keep seeing them on Instagram and I knew that with this, I wanted there to be like a rainbow situation, like a pot of gold rainbow situation. So I knew there needed to be a rainbow. So I took this opportunity to figure out how to make these clouds. Okay, so I jumped ahead. I never jumped ahead. I lost a little bit of footage and I'm super sorry. But I'm coming in to do the star. I wanted one more thing on here and I almost turned the star into a shamrock. But then I thought, then he's not recognizable. I better stay with, with the brand, like stay with the Care Bear kind of outfit. <laughs> so I've made the star and I took him off of Google as well. And if you're looking for how, how to draw these things without maybe copying somebody off of Instagram that's already done it or what have you, um, which by the way, if you're gonna copy them, that's totally fine. Totally, totally fine. Copy mine, copy anybody's. Just kind of give them a little shout out. But anyway, back to Google. If you're Googling how to draw whatever it is, so how to draw a Care Bear, how to draw Pink Panther, I just did a Pink Panther one. How to draw Ariel, I had just done that one. Bombed terribly. Faces are not my thing, but I'm gonna keep practicing. So if you Google, I even had Googled how to draw the star from Care Bears. It, I didn't know what the name of it was, but it worked, it came up. So keep that in mind. You can, you can just how to draw whatever it is. Another matte top coat. Remember guys, matte top coat. Also, I am going to try to remember to list down below. That glitter is from Glitter Bells and it is stunning. Love it. That is just one coat over the green. I didn't want it. I thought I wanted to do two, but I ended up not wanting to do two. And it turned out so beautifully. I really hope that you guys enjoy this type of video and please when you're done with this go over and watch Jessie's video. Her videos are always so cool. She has such a cool style in her videos. I love it. So this is me kind of con contemplating, <laughs> contemplating life. Symmetry isn't exactly, um, symmetry isn't something I'm very good at. So when it comes to the symmetrical part of a design, sometimes I really, really have to put some thought into it. And I want you guys to know, like this is an eight minute video, but this was a three hour long process. So don't brush yourself. So again, I hope you've enjoyed. Please subscribe if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up. If you could share the video and leave me a little comment down below, that would be awesome as well. It really helps with my channel growing. And the practice hand that I'm using in my display can be purchased in the link below. Thanks for watching, guys. I really hope you have a super St. Patrick's Day and maybe you'll find the pot of gold.